Due to the modular nature of Procon software, the analysis is done in Sumo and the design of each component takes place in a standalone design module. This is also known as post-processing. Let's look at a couple of analysis to design workflows that are available. With the analysis completed and the results available, we can design the many components that make up the structure according to various design standards. First up, concrete slabs modeled with shell elements. Sumo calculates flexural reinforcing for slabs using the wooden armor theory to combine the field moments along with in-plane forces. For example, the slab on the first floor of this building. It's a simple, flat slab designed elastically. The contour plot displays the amount of steel required in the top and bottom layers in both directions. Various steel connections can be designed, among them moment and shear connections. A good example of a moment connection is where the rafter is attached to the flange of the column. A good example of a shear connection is where the eaves beam is attached to the web of the column. Concrete beams come in two flavors, those that are isolated and those that interact with slabs called subframes. At the top of this structure, there's a multi-span beam on each side that can be designed using the beam detailing design link. On the second level of this model, there are four beams that attach to the bottom of the slab, forming what is called T and L beams. These can be designed using the subframe design link. Various concrete column types can be designed straight out of Sumo. They are circular, rectangular, and general shapes. In this model, there are only rectangular columns, so I'll use the rectangular column design link to design them in batches. Then there is the option to design pad footings at point supports, whether they're fixed or pinned. The four pad fittings under the steel columns can be designed in one go. Lastly, we can design timber members analyzed in Sumo to various standards. These vertical timber beams that support the cladding system can now be designed. For more information, visit our website or connect with us on social media.